Good morning everybody, welcome back to Gabrielle Taylor YouTube channel. Lovely to see you today. Thank you to everybody who watched my last video, it was very popular so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you also for all of the amazing comments you left me in the last video about these gorgeous shoes. I've just got them out of the box and I was like, they are amazing. Everybody asking where these are from, these are from Amazon, are straight from China so they're unbranded, so there's no brand on them, there's no nothing at all. I can leave the link for that down below in the description if you would like to purchase these yourself. I know a couple of you asked where they were from. I have a couple of big problems with these shoes that is stopping me wearing them. Look how pretty they are. Number one with these shoes, the bottom, I don't know if it's because they're unbranded, has absolutely no grip on. I think I'm gonna get some sandpaper, try and rough the edge down because I nearly slipped and fell on my bottom when I was wearing these. Problem number two, the left, was it the left strap? No, it was the right strap, was far too loose. It kept slinging back and I would basically be wearing the heel like that. So I'm gonna try to fix that problem. If I can't fix the old strap problem, those straps are a go-go and they're just gonna be a mule. If you don't know, I've got an Instagram at Gabrielle Taylor one and at High Heels Studio. Do not forget, I also have a mailing list. The link for the mailing list is down below in the description. So go and check it out. Also, I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this little denim cute dress. I've made an effort today to stay indoors because why not? Why not in lockdown make an effort and get dressed up? Give it a thumbs up if you love my outfit. Okay, my little fruit pies. Today, what we're going to do is make these high heels wearable. Currently, they're not wearable. As I mentioned, the bottom of them has no grip on and the side buckle is just too loose. Sandpaper, shoe. We're gonna smooth it down and try to make it wearable. Fingers crossed it works because now I've got the sandpaper in the shoe, I'm kind of thinking it's not gonna work. We'll Give us a thumbs up right now if you've ever done this at home. Take it down. Let's take the hair down. Look. Ooh, it's kind of working. I kind of just taking the sole of the shoe off. Which isn't really what I intended to do. It works! Ah, oh, it's worked! Oh my god, that is cool. That's a cool trick to know. So now the bottom of the shoe looks a bit messed up. However, it's a lot more coarse and it's definitely going to be easier traction on the floor than this one that's just literally slipping and sliding around. I'm very impressed with that. Oh yeah. Let me do the other shoe. Now, it is so much better. They are gonna grip the floor so much better and I'm not gonna be slipping on my little bottom every time I wear them. Next step, I need to put a hole somehow in there. I know you all want me to, so I'm just gonna give you a really quick view of the shoes. To remind you all how beautiful they are. Look how beautiful, oh they just they're amazing. Give us a thumbs up right now. I love these shoes. I love them. Okay, so obviously I do not own a let's punch a let's punch a hole in a plastic strap thing. I have a screw. <laughs> I've got this little screw, and what I'm gonna do is screw it in the shoe. I have a YouTube video reviewing these very shoes. So go and check it out, it's on the homepage. So go and watch every single one of my videos, all 112 of them, for the next two days. Right, so it was the right shoe that needed another hole punching in it. Let's begin. <laughs> Let's begin the task. If, any, if anyone else has got a better suggestion on what they would use, and it can't be a professional tool, it's gotta to be something that's lying around your house like screw, let me know down below. Ta-da, I am the shoe genius. Yes, I am the shoe genius. 
Let me know down below in the comments if you owed a pair of high heels similar to these. Oh my gosh, I am just the best at modifying shoes. Some choose to modify things like, some choose to modify boy things. I choose to modify high heels. Let's see if it goes in. There we go. And it's through. Check me out. There we go. So now I've created myself a new hole in my buckle. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, it fits. It's like Cinderella. Cinderella moment here. If anybody else would like their shoes modified, direct your queries towards me and I'll give you a quote for my service. <laughs> Joking, don't really. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with my new shoes. They actually fit me and I can walk in them. So I can walk in my new shoes. I don't actually know how long it's gonna last me wearing them out and about, but I know that I won't be falling over because of the sandpaper that I've done. And I also know that the strap's not gonna drop off for a while. I want you to let me know what you think about the modifications I have made to my shoes. Have you ever done anything similar? And if you have, leave me a comment down below. I love these shoes. I can't wait to wear them in more videos and add them to my collection. Hope you've loved today's video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you join that mailing list and follow me on Instagram. Love you all so much. Keep loving high heels like me. Bye.